Hi everybody, in this lesson we're going to do two things. First, we'll practice a typical business conversation together. And in the second part of the lesson, I'll show you how you can really boost your professional English conversation skills. So the business conversation we're going to practice is a formal conversation between two people. Sandra, who works for a company called Ventava, and Mr. Carr, who is an executive at a company called Confex. They've had contact on the phone and per email, but they've never met face to face. They've never met in person. They are both at the same conference when Sandra sees Mr. Carr. She recognizes his face from his company website and she decides to start a conversation. First, I'll read through the dialogue. You just need to watch and listen. After that, I'll explain the key moments in the conversation and then we'll practice the conversation together. Excuse me, it's Mr. Carr, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Hello, I'm Sandra Conti from Ventava. We've spoken on the phone several times. Ah, yes, of course. Nice to see you, Miss Conti. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Very well, thanks. It's nice to finally meet you in person. Yes, you too. So, are you enjoying the conference so far? Yes, it's been great. How about you? Absolutely. It's actually my first time here. Have you been to this one before? Yes, I've been coming here every year for the last five or six years. I see. And what do you like most about it? Well, it's very well organized and there are lots of opportunities for networking. Yes, it does seem to be very well organized. Let's go back to the start of the conversation. Sandra begins with, Excuse me, it's Mr. Carr, isn't it? This is a friendly and polite way to start a formal conversation. Then she introduces herself. Hello, I'm Sandra Conti from Ventava. A simple professional introduction with a name and company name. She also says, we've spoken on the phone several times. So here she's helping Mr. Carr to make the connection by talking about their telephone contact. After they've greeted each other, Sandra says, it's nice to finally meet you in person. This is a great formal phrase to use when you meet someone face to face for the first time after knowing or having contact with them for a longer time. Then Sandra asks, so are you enjoying the conference so far? This is a great question to really get the conversation going. They've already greeted each other and now it's time to continue the conversation. Mr. Carr uses a very simple but effective conversation question, how about you, to turn the question back to Sandra. Sandra answers the question and then asks, have you been to this one before? A typical follow-up question for this scenario. And then she also asks, and what do you like most about it? A great question to keep the conversation going. And now it's time to practice the conversation together. You read the white text, that's Sandra's part, and I'll read the black text, Mr. Carr's part. As soon as you see the dialogue, you can begin. And remember, read out loud. Let's try it. Yes, that's right. Ah, yes, of course. Nice to see you, Miss Conti. How are you? Very well, thanks. Yes, you too. Yes, it's been great. How about you? Yes, I've been coming here every year for the last five or six years. Well, it's very well organized and there are lots of opportunities for networking. Great, now let's try it one more time with a little challenge. I've taken some of Sandra's key phrases out of the dialogue. Can you remember them? Let's try it.
Yes, that's right. Ah, yes, of course. Nice to see you, Miss Conti. How are you? Very well, thanks. Yes, you too. Yes, it's been great. How about you? Yes, I've been coming here every year for the last five or six years. Well, it's very well organized and there are lots of opportunities for networking. And how did it go? Did you remember all the key phrases? Are you curious about how the conversation continues? Well, that brings me to the next part of our lesson. One of the best ways to improve your professional English conversation skills is to join my online course, Confident English Conversation for Professionals. Let me tell you about it. In the course, you'll be able to practice the full conversation between Sandra and Mr. Carr, as well as many other interactive dialogues. The course is carefully structured into 10 modules, focusing on 10 key conversation skills. The modules include interactive videos and interactive quiz exercises, as well as downloadable PDFs and MP3s. There's also a huge amount of bonus content included to really help you make small talk with confidence. Take a look at what people say about the course. As always, I hope you liked the lesson. If you did, give it a thumbs up and watch one of these next.